Hello everyone, I am here with a gorgeous woman, her name is Sarah, and not only she's gorgeous, she also sings. What type of music? I sing opera, classical music. Can you believe that? Like, <laughs> I wanted to ask you, how did you find out you can sing opera? Um, so it's actually a bit of a funny story. So I was doing musical theater mm -hmm. and I knew a lot of people around town who were into musical theater. And so I went to a friend's show and in her bio, she said that she had won some big classical competition. And I thought, because I'm very competitive, I thought, <laughs> I could sing like that too. So I took my first voice lesson and then I was addicted. I just, I was like, this is where my voice belongs, so. And uh, what does opera involve? It's not just singing, right? Like you have to feel the song. Oh, what do you think is the difference between opera and it, any other gender, genre? Um, it's different from other genres in that you're meant to sing unamplified, so it requires years of training um, to basically find the right resonance points within your body and mm -hmm. appropriate support to be able to really focus that sound, to be able to cut over an orchestra, um, even if you're a man, woman, whatever vocal type you are, because there are the lower voices as well, which is harder to get through. Um, the orchestral sounds mm -hmm. so you basically um, you learn that technique as well as having to know the diction of many languages like Italian French Spanish German so yeah it's different <laughs> sounds complicated <laughs> I wanted to ask you which is your favorite song so far um, I would say my favorite piece is actually Io son Lumi Leoncella and it's from an opera called Adriana Le Couvre and it's basically uh, the lead character Adriana and she is actually a singer herself within the storyline and she's speaking to her fans and friends and she's saying how she's literally just an instrument um, that mm. the composer God uses to bring this aesthetic quality to the world and I just I think it's so beautiful and the piece musically is gorgeous can we hear a little oh my gosh um, let me see we will do it quietly so they don't kick us out <laughs> that's a little from the beginning that was do you know my, my skin got like the chills? <laughs> People is gonna come and bring us money right now. Good. <laughs> we only take 20s, guys. <laughs> so um, tell me, what has been like the biggest challenge you have faced in this career so far? Because we are not done facing challenges. Yes. Um, well, actually for me, uh, coming to it a little bit later and as an American speaking English, uh, the diction has been tough for me to really figure out how to get the Italian correct with the consonants and softening things and living more on the vowel as opposed to focusing on the d, t, all of those sort of things that the English language really emphasizes, that's been the toughest thing for me, is diction. And who is your idol? Oh goodness, um, Anna Mofo, who is no longer with us, but she, I think her voice and her vocal technique was just sublime. <laughs> and if you can choose any opera that you're like, I wanna play, what will be? My dream role, which I am sure is almost every soprano's dream role, is uh, Mimi in La Boheme. Mm. I feel like my voice has a little bit more weight to it, and so one day when I get things a little bit more lined up, I would love to be able to have that opportunity. <laughs> well, where can people follow you? Because we want to hear you, this amazing voice. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, it's Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, Bell Shields, Sarah Bell Shields, and that's where I'll be posting updates on what I'm doing and what I'm up to. And I also hear that you are performing on the streets. I am. I've recently started performing down at the Santa Monica Promenade, and um, I'm going to be starting to do that more on the weekends as time allows. Right now for the holidays, I'm kind of just lightly getting out there, um, but yeah, it's been really fun lots of friendly faces guys you have to go and see her live because then you when she's in a big 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 production you're gonna be like i saw her 
and don't forget to leave at 20. <laughs> you knew her when, <laughs> when you saw her on the streets of Santa Monica. <laughs> and you can say, I left at 20. <laughs> exactly. Yes, exactly. Although anything, a smile, any sort of support is always appreciated. At 20. At 20. <laughs> My last thing, because I'm from Mexico, I want to hear your Spanish. Or we can sing in Spanish. Ooh. Like La Bamba. Or La Bamba? Tequila. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on, you don't, I don't know any song in Spanish? I don't, I don't know those. Bésame, bésame mucho, como mm. si fuera esta noche. I need to teach her I, I feel like I'll be a background. I can be a background. <laughs> I'll be a background dancer. I'll just do a little of this, throw a little jazz hands out there. <laughs> well, muchísimas gracias. All right. Adios. Adios. <laughs> yeah, chinelet. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Find me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and also follow this beautiful girl on her Instagram. Yes! Adios! Adios!